Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and we, it's that time of year again, we're about to get ready to go to show so we are going to clip our goats, stick around, we'll show you how we do it. starters you're going to want to make sure you bathe the goat just so that the clippers don't get worn out um, when they're dirty it's a lot it's not as clean as a shave and as well you can dull your clippers really quick so the clippers i use are andy's pro speed these are extremely good clippers um, i'll have a link in the description below if you guys uh, want to purchase them they are a little bit more pricey than, say, a $30 pair of clippers, but man, do they make a difference. So, Andy Super Speed. I have two blade sizes. I use the four for the majority of their body because it gives them a bit of a longer shave. And then I use a 10 blade for their legs and underbelly and udder. So... And it is nice if you have a couple different blades because they can get pretty hot. So you can switch them out and let them cool. Um, speaking of getting hot, this is something I also have. Um, it just it acts as a lubricant, but not really well. Um, but mainly I just use it so that I can keep the blades cool. And then of course, blade lube. Now this is very important because they just get rough. They start getting real rough on each other. You have to lube them frequently. All right, so I'm just going to start on the body. Just work your way around. Um, what you want to keep in mind is keep the blade to the body. You're going to go against the hair and long, slow strokes. And it'll be a smooth shave. So I'll start here on this back leg. Another reason I like the four is because, again, their hair isn't cut as short. So when you use the 10 on their whole body, you know, they like to sunbathe. And here in the desert, they just get fried. So it's short enough that you can see their skin. So I don't like to shave them with the 10. And this is the perfect length for show. Now when your blade starts making that noise, it sounds like it's grinding a little. That means it needs you to lube it up. So I just use an old toothbrush and get out the extra hair that's in it. Get your lube. Turn it on. Just put it a little bit right in there. And I'll keep it running smooth.
stop. Alright, so I got the majority of the right side of the body, um, so I'm going to do the, do the underbelly now. All right, this side's looking good. So I'm gonna go around, get the other side and the other side of her underbelly, and then we'll show you how to do the legs. All right, look at you, girl. It's always fun to see the development year we'll put on a goat. Okay, so I got the body done. She's looking good. Now for the legs, the worst part. All right, so it might be easier for you, depending on how your goat is, if you just leave the foot as is, and then you know, try to let them leave it down as much as possible. You are gonna have to pick the foot up to get in the nooks and crannies, but she's not gonna let me, period. I might have to hold it. All right. You gotta hold it, you gotta hold it. Don't let them kick you. not usually like that. She's pretty good when I shave her, but today she's not wanting her feet touched. So this is, I forgot to mention, this is a 10 blade. Um, so it's, it's shorter than the four. I don't want to go above her hocks. So once I get to about here, and then I'm going to go against the hair, I'm sorry, with the hair to try to blend it, because it'll be a little bit longer. Why are you being like that a little bit? So just right up to the hawk. Okay, you can see it's longer than that. So I'm gonna go with the hair now to blend it. Try to comb it in there. Alright, now in between the toes, we get long hairs there too. Calm down, girl. Alright, now the back of the foot. Alright, so we want to get all these hairs back here too. Now right there, it's hard to get them unless you kind of push that down. Good 
still. Oh, I'm back here. So you want to make sure you're continually checking the blade. This is getting a little hot. So I'm just, I don't have two of the tens to change them out. So with this stuff, you want to put the blade face down. You don't want to spray it in here or get it in there or anything and ruin your blade, ruin your clippers. So just kind of put it down. When you're looking for this spot, just spray it. Super cool. So I'm almost done with her feet here. I'm gonna get the other one and then maybe we'll do the tail next. Okay, so I had previously trimmed her tail up a little bit for because I shaved the others when we start milking. So I just shaved this area. But you do not want to shave the whole tail bald to look like a little rat tail. That would be bad. So down. Um you are not going to go against the hair in this scenario, and I am using the 10. I'm going to go with the hair. So blend it on in. Around here. Cut those off. Now as far as the hair on the end of her tail, so you're going to find the tip of her tail, which is right here, and just, you know, maybe, maybe an inch, half an inch, Above that is where you want to leave the, the long hair. Try to get that even. And then at the end, you just kind of grab all the hair. Just cut it off even right across. Just like that. Alright, so now we need to get her head. So, you don't like this much either. Don't shave the beard off first thing. It is going to be your handle to control the animal while you're shaving their face. So first I'll try to get this stuff here. Alright, so come here grandma and pull you out. Come on. that beard everywhere else. Be real careful around the eyes, obviously. Clippers around, getting all those nuts and crannies. Okay. Let's see. Being a good girl. Come on. All right, so I'm switching out the four for the ten. Before I trim her beard, I want to make sure I get in the inside of her ears, which they don't like. So with the 10, 
Oh, I know, girl. This part is okay. Let's trim those longer hairs. Good girl. Good girl. The other one. Real quick. Okay. that beard off with our four don't need to hold that use it as a handle for anything else last part on your face girl That's pretty beardy been growing all year part left to do, ugh, got hair all over me, is the udder and the underbelly. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so for the udder, I'm using a 10, and I'm going to come out about that far in front of the udder, and I'm going to make a curve. So I'm going to shave that much and then the udder. So start with the very middle. Just go back, get your starting point. And again, I want it to go like this. So, Follow that line, same thing here. So that's all I'm going to do for now with the udder. When it gets closer to fair, typically when I'm at show, I will um, use a 50 blade. That same area that I shaved the udder, their, on their underbelly, fore udder, and the back of their udder, I'm also going to use a 50 blade, which is like surgical hair length, so um, almost bald. And then I take a 
actual razor and I will shave it bald bald. So that will be another video, but that's what we do for now until we get to show. She is all done guys. It is a very, very hairy process, but it's not a hard thing to do and they look gorgeous. And now the judge can see what's under all of that fur. So we are ready. If you need any of these supplies, they'll be in the description below. So check them out. Have a good day guys.